Hey guys, Rebecca Austin here and welcome to another amazing Kajabi tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the new Kajabi email campaign email editor. And it's really super amazing. I'm very excited at this new update. It's amazing how Kajabi's constantly improving and bringing out all kinds of new stuff. I mean, I've been with Kajabi as a founding member since before it was officially released. And I just can't even begin to tell you how much it has evolved even in a couple of years. Can't wait to see what they come up with next. So let's go into the email editor. Right now, uh, they since they just launched it, it is in your email campaigns under marketing and then email campaigns. Now this is in your email broadcast. Currently it is not an option in the email sequences, although I wouldn't put it past them to release that in the future. So what we do is we can either go to new email campaign or we can go to a broadcast and edit it. But if we create a new campaign, and it's only available in broadcast. And as you can see, it looks a little different where before it just had like these gray um, icons in here for your broadcast and sequences. We now have it color coded in blue and purple as well as now that's email broadcast or email sequence. So let's click on email broadcast and we're going to name this and click save. Then Kajabi gives you the option to go to your classic editor, which is the old style, or to create custom email that aligns with your brand in the visual editor. So let's click on visual editor and click save. So just like the other one, it wants us to send this out to first select who you want the recipients to be. So you can send it out to your entire list or you can drill down into members or custom segments and filter just like in the other email broadcast. So that's really handy. Once we have selected who we will be sending this email to, we click save and continue. And then it takes us to our um, <clears throat> editing of content screen. And as you can see, this looks very different than it did before because first we have our um, preview. So there's a preview screen on this page and we can add our automations to the email here. But if we want to change the edit of what is inside the email, we now click on launch email editor. Inside the email editor, what you will notice is now it looks very similar to our editing dashboards for our pages, our products, our pipelines, all of the various editing, which gives us much more capabilities. So we have various segments that we can add as far as sections and build out our page just like we do on our page builder. So for example, we can click add section. These are all of the various content sections or blocks that we can put inside the email. You can have your custom content just like in our page builder. We have our image banner, an image, a logo image, and a logo image is smaller like this where it's a tinier image. You can use that for more than just the, the logo, by the way. We have basic text. We have a heading. We have email body. There is a call to action button and then our custom code. So these are all of the various segments that we can put into the page. In addition to that, if we were to go into our custom content, we can add content to our custom content and that includes text, code, call to action, and images. So you can customize those segments as well. If we go to our settings, we can change our typography and we can also change our color scheme, including your background of the entire email. So we could just select a color to put on the background and click save. And then you'll notice that we have this background. Within the block, we also have editing capabilities inside those blocks as well. Just like with our call to action, then we can go into advanced settings appearance and we can change the button color and the various um, 
editing capabilities that are within those sections. So as you can see very quickly, we have a very amazing capability here to really brand and create stunning emails that can get much more engagement and a better um, click through ratio because it's not just the boring text. We can get make it look much more professional, almost newsletter style. So we hope you find this tutorial beneficial and that you get a chance to go in and explore our email editor in greater detail and have some fun with it. Uh, once you have your email set up the way you want, you've had your automation set up the way you want, we can click save and continue. And then at this point we can um, save and edit later or we can schedule the post. It won't send for me now because I didn't include a subject line, uh, but that's the nice thing too. Kajabi will always remind you if there's anything that might be a problem prior to sending. You can also preview prior to sending as well. And uh, I'm going to save this now and save it as a draft. So enjoy your email editor and enjoy your Kajabi. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out our other resources on our website at striveforsavvy.com.